Good news. Your favorite football league season has come to an end, and your team won the championship. Okay, maybe they didn't, but at least they didn't get relegated. Or did they? If they did, I'm so sorry. But now what? Summer can be a boring time for most football fans, but it doesn't have to be. That's because there are plenty of summer football leagues going on across the world for you to watch on TV, on YouTube, or even see live if you happen to live or travel to these countries. So today, I've put together a comprehensive list of all of the world's top summer leagues. As summer 2024 is technically defined as June 20th through September 22nd in the Northern Hemisphere, we will be defining a summer league as those that are active within these months. This means that for our Mexican and Central American viewers whose home countries operate on a two-tournament Apertura and Clausura schedule, we will not be counting your Apertura as exclusively a summer league. I also must apologize to American Samoa, whose league starts in August, the Philippines, whose football league goes from April to July, and Russia, whose Premier League goes from July to May. We are not counting you as a true summer league, as your league is not fully active between June 20th and September 22nd. I know these are major caveats, but there's more. I will be counting any league that is active through these months as a summer league regardless of which hemisphere they are in. So for you Argentinian footy fans out there, congratulations! Your league is now considered a summer league, even though June through September is technically your winter. Feel free to let me know how misguided I am in the comments below. One last caveat before we begin. I will only be talking about the top flight leagues in each of these countries, so while they might have lower leagues that are also active during the summer, we aren't going to be talking about them. Finally, if you enjoy the concept of this video, give us a like, ring the bell, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more great Footy Leagues content. We recently eclipsed 750 subscribers, which is really incredible, so thank you all so much for the support. This list is in alphabetical order, so without further ado, let's dive into the top summer football leagues across the world. Between the Argentine Primera Division and the Copa Argentina, Argentinian football essentially lasts all year long. The country's top league, also known as Liga Profesional, began in May 2024 and will conclude in December of this year. Made up of 28 teams this season, each team will play 27 games, or each of their league mates, once. Hey, Belarus, remember that episode? The country's top flight league, known as the Belarusian Premier League, or the Vushishaya Liga, started in March this year and will conclude at the end of November. 16 teams will compete across 30 games. While the best leagues in Europe are on summer holiday, why not head down to South America and check out arguably the continent's best football league, the Brasileiro Serie A. Made up of 20 teams, Brazil's top flight started in April and will conclude in December. A winner will be decided after each team plays 38 games. Speaking of episodes we've done, it's Canada. The Canadian Premier League is already underway this year, having started in April and will go until October. Eight teams will play a 28-game regular season before the playoffs begin. Besides Argentina, the only Spanish-speaking country in South America to operate a single league during the Northern Hemisphere's summer months is Chile. The Chilean Premier Division, also known as the Campeonato Ital for sponsorship reasons, started in February of this year and will conclude in December after its 16 teams play a 30-game season. I'm not sure how high China is on your holiday travel list, but if you find yourself there this summer, there will be live football to watch. The Chinese Super League season began in March and will finish in November following a 30-game season. Having had the pleasure of visiting Estonia in 2023, I can tell you that it is a great country with some very friendly people. Tallinn is also a really cool historic city. What I unfortunately missed on my trip was seeing a football game. The country's top flight league, the Maestra Liga, began this season in March and will conclude in November after each team plays 36 games. I have an incredible fascination with the Faroe Islands and would love the opportunity to see a football game there. The country's Premier League is already underway, having started in March. It will go until late October after each team plays 27 games. 
Last year, during the same trip where I spent some time in Estonia, I also went to Helsinki, Finland, and was fortunate enough to watch the country's most successful club, Hoi Ko, play a match. My friends and I had a wonderful time, and my travel vlog about the experience can be found in the description below. Finland's top flight league, the Veikkausliiga, began in April this year and will conclude in November after each team plays a 27-game season. If Finland is not your speed, maybe you'd prefer a visit to Tbilisi and the country of Georgia. Their top flight football league, the Air of Newly Liga, began in March and will conclude in December after each team plays 36 games. Iceland has become a very popular summer tourist destination, and if you find yourself in this beautiful country, why not check out a football game? Iceland's top flight league, the Besta Dilt Kulta, began in April and will last until October. Each team is set to play 27 games. Unlike Northern Ireland and the UK, Ireland's football pyramid runs on a summer schedule. This year's League of Ireland Premier Division season started in February and will end in November. Each team is scheduled to play 36 games. Japan's J1 League is one of the top football leagues in Asia. It also operates on a summer league schedule. This season, the J1 kicked off in February and will go until December with each team playing 38 games. For those, like me, who enjoy watching the early knockout rounds of the UEFA Champions League, you may recognize a club called Astana from Kazakhstan. They are the Kazakh Premier League's most decorated side, having won seven championships. And if you'd like to see them play live, you can do so this summer. The Kazakh Premier League kicked off in March and will go until November. Each team is expected to play 24 games. Back to the Baltics we go for Latvia's top flight, the Virsliga, also known as the Latvian Higher League. Running from March to November, the league's 10 teams will play 36 games this season. Our final Baltic country on this list is Lithuania. Their top flight is called the A-Liga. It started in March and is expected to end in November. As with its other Baltic neighbors, its 10 teams will play a 36-game season. For the first time since 2007-2008, the Liga Super Malaysia will play a two-year schedule, meaning their season will begin in May of this year and will wrap up sometime in 2025 after each team plays 24 games. Last year's Malaysian Super League started in February and ended in December. While the schedule has changed, its designation as a summer football league has not. While technically in its winter months, the New Zealand National League plays a March to November football schedule, meaning those in the States and in Europe can enjoy some football during a summer holiday there. Back to Scandinavia we go for Norway and the country's top flight league, Elite Siren. The league kicked off this year at the end of March and will go until December. Its 16 teams will play 30 games each. The scheduling of the Singapore Premier League has changed a little this year, and as a result, it might be the only league in the world that is technically year-round. No kidding. The league season started on May 10th of this year and will conclude on May 24th, 2025. Now obviously there will be breaks in play, like a two-month holiday between November 4th and January 9th, but still, interesting to learn. South Korea's Top Flight League is one of the powerhouse leagues in all of Asia. It also operates on a summer league schedule. This year, the K-League 1 kicked off in March and will go until the end of November. The league's 12 teams will play 38 games each until a champion is crowned. Rounding out the Scandinavian countries, minus Denmark of course, which is the only Scandinavian country to not operate on a summer league schedule, is Sweden. Sweden has a massive football pyramid that is eight levels deep, and at the top of that pyramid is the Allsvenskan, which translates to the All Swedish. This year, the league kicked off in March and will end in November after each team plays 30 games. Like other leagues around it, Taiwan's Football Premier League started in April of this year and will conclude in December once every team plays 21 games. 
I'm shocked to say it, but for the second time, Tajikistan makes an appearance on footy leagues around the world. Their first appearance was in our Where Don't Brazilians Play video, and now you can mark off your bingo card because their top flight Vaishishaya Liga is also a summer league. As to not compete with American football, which remains the most popular sport in the U.S., Major League Soccer operates a summer league schedule where they only have to compete with Major League Baseball. This year, the MLS season started in February and its playoffs will end in December. Finally, we have Uzbekistan's top flight competition, the Uzbekistan Super League. While it may not be mentioned as often as leagues in Japan, Korea, and Saudi Arabia, the Uzbek Super League is considered one of the top football leagues in Asia. It also plays a summer league schedule, kicking off in March and going until December. Each team is expected to play 26 games. Well, there you have it, the top summer football leagues all across the world. Next time you're bored and missing football, why not search out one of these 24 leagues? Have you watched football in any of these countries? If so, let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. Have a great summer, and we will talk to you soon.